So, good morning children. Once again, I am here before you to present you the learning outcomes of our lesson number 21, like fathers, like daughters. In this video, I will suggest you some learning outcomes of this lesson as well as the activities related to the given TLO. Now let's begin our video for this learning outcomes. As I have written, our first TLO is to find out or to know about the similarities in parents and their children. An activity which I have made for you is that just observe the pictures, these two pictures and find out whether the child is similar to the parent or not. Uh, it will be very easy for you that by observing, just see this girl is very much similar to her father and in this also picture you can find out that uh, this girl is very similar to his uh, father. Now, if you observe yourself, okay, you just stand in front of the mirror and you can observe yourself, your own face, shape of your nose, color of your eyeball, color of your skin, even your height, your hair color and the hairstyle also and the type of habits like sneezing, laughing, walking and this list has no end, you know. Because as a human beings, we do many things, many work in day-to-day -day life. So you can just observe your habits and try to match them with your parents, either with your mother or either with your father. You will find that some of the habits or some of these things, which I have already told you in this, are very similar to your mother or maybe very similar to your father, or it may be uh, similar to your maternal means nanny side, or paternal means your father side. The reason, how it happens and what is the reason behind it? Here I am telling you the reason in a very short form because you are too small to learn all these things, but here I am again explaining this in a very in a very brief manner. The reason is that genetically every child receives some genes from father and some genes from his or her mother and some new recombinations are also formed. And so all these factors control the different traits or different habits or different characters in your body or in our body. And one fact about the twins also. Twins means when the two childs uh, have birth together uh, at one time. They may be like, they may be alike, means they may be very dissimilar to each other. Means they you cannot uh, recognize them that as both are twins. And they may be very similar, like here. These two very famous personalities of our Indian cinema, these are very similar to each other. Both these sisters are looking very close because they both are twins and here again these two brothers are also very similar but in the third photograph you can observe that these two children are also twins but they are not similar so it is not necessary that twins are always alike okay now let's come to the second yellow of this lesson to know about the non-transferable disease from parents to their children or the transferable disease means whether the disease can be transferred from the mother to the child after birth or not okay for this activity uh, I have again used two pictures and by observing these two pictures you can easily find that if a mother has a polio or if the father of the child has polio uh, it is not necessary it means it is zero percentage that the child may suffer from the same disease. But if the mother or the child, uh, if the mother or the father has diabetes, then there are 70% chances that the child may suffer uh, with diabetes in the later life. Okay, so here again, we, I am trying to explain you that most of the diseases are not transferable from the mother to the child, as for example is the polio. 
or if or um, there are so many diseases but the example i have taken is of the malaria okay now these are the things which we should know because we are now going to again uh, learn the signs in a later life okay now observe the tagline of this mission and it is very common mission related to the children's disease that is polio and in our india it is we know in, uh, called it pulse polio and uh, this type of posters you can see in the hospitals maybe in the market or uh, on the newspapers or there is advertisement in the tv or any other social media also and the tagline of this mission is sirf do boond zindagi ke means if a child up to the age of 5 years get the syrup of or this the vaccine of this polio uh, of these two drops it may or may not suffer from the disease but here one fact again i am uh, telling you here that in india now the polio rate is zero but still we are doing the mission because so that it cannot be again uh, come back in india so it is going on so children this chapter is just an introduction of genetics to you and uh, in the upper classes you will go through the deep knowledge of this genetics uh, field of this genetics and it is very interesting field science uh, part of a uh, field of science and you can enjoy and you can become a scientist you can become a doctor you can become uh, a, a, a means a researcher in these things so in the later life you will get the knowledge of this genetics but here in this chapter only this much is for you so if you like this video you can suggest it to share and subscribe it so that more children can get it and thank you for watching this video thank you once again